Welcome to the Cambridge Hotel and Conference Centre here in Red Deer, Calgary. And our second semi-final between Jia Hua Chen and Bin Hung for a place in the final against Alison Fisher. Thanks to our sponsors and partners for making this event happen. Predator Qs, of course, Q Sports Live, the WPA, WPBA, sorry, and Pro Billiard Series Global Partners, CSI, Kamui, Alpha Coin, and Jam Up Apparel. The game is 10 ball. It's two races to four and a shootout should we need one. It's Cool Shot. I'm Mark White and calling the shots with me in the booth is, well, somebody with a, a vested interest in this particular semi-final. It's the uh, the, the partner <laughs> of uh, Amber, I'm going to call her. It's yes. much easier for me to say that. Robbie Capito. Hello, Hi, Robbie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You're looking, looking very nervous. You're looking very nervous. Yes, all our matches are very nerve-wracking. <laughs> Almost giving me a heart attack every match. Is but it? Yeah, is I'm it worse? It. Is it worse playing or is it worse watching? It's worse watching, for sure, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. Well, so I'm glad that she uh, managed to came through and and uh, made her way to the semifinals. So I'm looking forward to how she played how she, how she plays this match. So yeah, it's well, a Taiwan battle. Yeah, it is. We're guaranteed at least one Taiwanese in the final. Yep. Which one's it going to be? I know which one you're hoping for. Both players have played pretty well these last four days yeah, to reach this stage. They've playing very well. So have a look at this table, Robbie. Is there any pitfalls or is it all pretty straightforward? Kind of overhit this one a bit. This usually happens in the beginning of the match where kind of uh, still a bit nervous, still not comfortable with the table and usually make these kind of uh, uh, mispositions. Taking it in the side. Oh, she's safety. played a safety. Thanks yeah, we safety. saw this yesterday, you know, in her quarterfinal. She wasn't taking too many risks, you know. If she had a 50-50 yeah. shot, she was always going on the, the side of safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's a very short race, so you don't want to play anything silly so you want to be as safe as possible so first time because anything could happen what what happened to kelly fisher right oh look oh at that for a stroke great opening shot how good did she hit that look at this and that's i think that's one of her big attributes yes. is her fundamentals yes, and, and i see you working very very hard with very her hard. yep run this slightly as you said I think she's okay got perfect oh yeah, angle she is okay yeah and then just um, play this one into the m middle of the table and this rack is pretty much pretty much in your favor so how is she been preparing for this she's been doing lots of practice or getting lots of rest as well and just yeah, chilling just out just try to just try to stay as focused as possible and try not to think too much about the match just try to play her game and whoever wins is no ma it doesn't matter so of course she wants to win but yeah she doesn't want to think too much about the match or else you might overthink while you're playing and that's the last thing you want to do as a as a player. Yeah, let's face it, she's uh, very young. She's got a really good future ahead of her, so yes. she's going to get many, many chances. Looking forward to it. And I never expected her to get to the semis after such a long time not playing internationally. So she's got nothing to lose right now. No, she can play freely Yep. with confidence. And just play her game, you know. She's got yeah. such a such a great mm -hmm. technique and stuff, so she can really just concentrate yeah. on having fun, mm -hmm. right? She's been very looking forward to playing the TV table, actually. I don't think have we has she played on this table yet? She played once. Once, only. that's right. Yeah. yeah. But then there have been s uh, some sched uh, some arrangement on the schedules where she should have been playing in the TV table, but switch to the other tables so she didn't have a chance to play again after Allison's match 
welcome to the world of entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the key shot right here. Just has to stroke this beautifully and this track is pretty much over. Beautiful. Oh, great shot. I can hear the nervousness in your voice. It's actually like you're playing every shot with her. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. And that was absolutely perfect. Look at that. Part of the pocket. Beautiful strike. Never touched Still the Still needs sides. a bit of work here. From the 9 to the 10. But I think she's okay. She's going to go two cushions. Oh. Didn't really. She let up on that one a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it was a bit the deceleration. Yeah, a bit. deceleration. I think it's because she's used to the outside tables where the where the cushions are super bouncy on the outside tables. So um, she's just trying to get used to it right now. And uh, just one shot. Just focus on this shot. Interesting. She uses the loop bridge off the the rail. In it goes. Good no shot. problem whatsoever. Very nice round of applause from this really nice audience, little crowd in for this second semi-final. It was a little bit early for Paul fans to get up for the first one at 10 a.m. <laughs> so Dean lost to Ashley Burrows actually in the, the first in the opening round, then she beat Ada Leo, Taruko Kukuleli, and then big win over Brittany Bryant, 4-2-4-2. And then a comfortable 4 2 4 0 over Caroline Powell last night to reach this stage. And Amber, well, she beat Kelly Fisher in a shootout. Alison, 5 4. Alison, Alison Fisher. Oh, sorry, Alison Fisher, yeah, yeah, in the first round. Ali, yeah, yeah and it's the second time she's beaten her in yes. successive tournaments, right? Yeah. So she battle through the winner side so a wonderful break here wonderful break yeah perfect on this one ball can go anywhere Great she control wants control the white ball look at that all in the open Robbie there's not a ball in a bad position yeah five ball is okay because five there's an obvious in. Com combo yes. don't know if the three passes the bottom left corner goes in the side doesn't it so yeah. worst comes to worst at least it's got a pocket I think she's okay yeah, nice little drag shot there holding perfectly mm -hmm. for the two ball key shot coming up yep certainly started very well so where does the nickname Amber come from I don't know, she just, <laughs> <laughs> just thought about it. You don't know. She's don't your know. girlfriend. Oh, it obviously does pass the 10 ball. Yep. Does she have enough angle to stun it past? Or maybe she'll go play the side? Yeah, she's got choices, hasn't she? Yeah. She can play into the same pocket if she wants. Sides in the side, she's yeah, perfect. Okay. perfect. Perfect, perfect. She's got great control of the cue ball right now, feeling pretty comfortable. I feel that she's pretty relieved that she's playing on the TV table right now. Is she the kind of player that enjoys it, thrives on it? Yeah, gets energy yes. from it. Yeah, that's a good thing. Now, okay, dead in, dead straight. Bit of draw on this. Yep. Has to hit it cleanly yeah, though. Very clean. You don't want to hit it a bit off because you might have a misposition here. Oh, Good like shot. That, just like that. Just like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fan fantastic shot. Really is. An now impressive all four start. balls are in the are just near the pocket. It's like a little drill. Yeah. And draw just to get a little bit closer to the seven ball. Could stun off the rail here. Got a slight ang angle. Just going to run 
run it through, maybe. And you don't see many players playing with wood shafts these days. Yeah. You could use inside English. Come out two rails, top left. Yeah, looks like where's the way she's going. Looks like you Perfect. know this young lady's game. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so this 10 ball, ten ball to complete a very, very good start. Look at them eyes on the prize as she pulls back the Kira eyes switch to the 10 ball and in it goes. And our appreciative crowd, a nice little round of applause. So we have our final coming up. We have an about an hour's break, I'm guessing, after this match. 3 p.m. Mountain Time will be the final. And that young lady sat there will be hoping that she's in it. She's looking very, very focused. So I'm interested. She, I always see her wearing this white thing in her hair that she ties her hair <laughs> with. Is this like a trademark? Is this like a, her thing? I have no idea. I think she's just used to it. Are you and sure you're her boyfriend? You don't seem to Come know on. very much about her. I just know her game. <laughs> 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 okay. Hey, don't do that to me. Don't put me in a tough position. <laughs> you know, that's right. You, you've got to be up for them, ready for that when you're in the booth with me. Okay, here we go. Breaking from the side. All right. Wow. Any balls on the break? Tough layout here. So, where do you should push be a to, push Robin? out here, yeah. Where are you going to push to here? Are you going to tell me? Yeah, I will just hit Come the 7 Come on, you're ball. on a shot clock here. I will just hit the 7 ball. Hit the 7 ball full, then forward. Push out. No put it near the bottom left corner. Or if she can, let's see how she does it here. She's gonna tie the four up as well, this I think. Oh, she didn't even bother touching the seven ball. Is there got the chance here, go yep. thin off the one ball maybe. Down back behind. Pretty routine safe here. Balls. Routine safe here. Derails. Oh, gave it back. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't go for the safe here. I think because maybe the two's over there, and if she pushes the one over towards yeah. the two, maybe there's a carom or a yeah. combo left. And it's a little bit too much of an angle to play the, the one ball back down the table and leave the cue ball behind the nine. So let's see how she plays it. Yeah, she's gone for it. But she's got a good cue ball, yeah. so maybe that was a little bit of a mistake there yeah. from Amber. We'll see with the jump cue here, maybe, and jump over, make the two ball. A bit fortunate here. Yeah, she's got away with that. I guess my jump cue didn't work for her. Is that yours, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bean could see a piece of this one ball. Yeah, she may even be able to make it. Sponsored by Zen Cues. Bean. goes good shot. shot where's the cue ball though Ooh, wow. oh a bit fortunate there <laughs> hard of the pocket yeah great shot switching hands to play left a little bit of right hand English as well just to play Ooh. it This is a touchy shot right here for the four. 
Will she go between the seven and eight? Yeah, for the four on the side? Yeah, I like leaving the four into the same pocket that she's playing the three in here. Wow. Oh, smart shot. Played a lovely little caramel. Didn't know if she played that right I there. I don't think so because yeah. she's shaking her head as if to say, oh, got a bit lucky there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she was trying to come between. It's a bit straight here. So if she could cheat the pocket a little bit, or maybe she could just go roll forward and play the five on the top left corner. Yeah, there you see, placing her hand where she wants that cue ball. Yep. It's okay. okay. So have you been practicing much for your upcoming tournament? Or have you just been concentrating yeah, on the numbers going try to now? Try to focus on our game first. Try to put a bit of table time if I can. Stun on this. She's tried to stun Ooh, over. Under hit this a bit. Yeah. So the bridge is coming out, I suppose. Yeah, Slip up on that just a little yeah, bit. She, I think she, her head came up a bit too early on that one. Yeah, one of the biggest things we see, the biggest reasons we see for missing balls, yeah. the body movement, head mm -hmm. movement coming up. Good recovery here in prime position now. And these two races to four, she yep. wanted to get back as soon as she can. I don't want Amber going oh. on the hill. Well, she's got she the wrong angle on this, has she? She's going to have to send yeah. the cue ball around the table or leave a longer nine. Maybe play this high left. Can she? I think she's going around the oh table. She's coming around, so she's got to avoid the 10 here. Oh, oh, and she's got to make the ball first. And that is a huge mistake. Very careless. Very, very careless. Rushed I think there was a little bit. Rushed, rushed it, a bit yes. of body movement as well. Hit it way too yeah, hard. Too hard, yeah. Wow, that's a big, big yeah. let off for Amber. Oh, she's given sure. Amber the green light. Yeah. Don't think she has much choices here. She yeah. can draw past this, I think. Oh, she's gone on the rail. Oh, that's perfect. Mm, that's perfect. Perfect position here. Just now I just got to focus on one shot. Seems such a calm natured person. Very good temperament. Yeah. Does she ever get angry with you? Always. <laughs> <laughs> She saves all that for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, As we say that. Absolutely perfect. She's now perfect on the 10. Well, I'll tell you, Bean is not looking <coughs> very comfortable out there at the moment. Beautiful. And it goes, so it is 3-0. Punished B for her mistake. Yeah, that's the way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. And it puts more pressure on your opponent because then, you know, they don't want to make another mistake. And uh, we're going to take a little break. Yeah. We'll be back.
welcome back to the Cambridge Hotel Conference Centre here in the lovely little town of Red Deer in Alberta, Canada. And it is the inaugural Women's Canada Open. Ali Fisher awaiting the winner of this match. Remember, in a very good position at the moment. Oh, cue ball. Well, the two's going to knock it in, is it? No. <laughs> well, dry break again, just yeah. struggling to make a ball. A few things went close, but the cue ball went closest twice. Look at that, Ooh. the eight ball coming back and nudging it. And it still didn't drop. Cue ball went no, no way. Now then, I think she's got a shot of this one ball. Where's the two ball? See at the moment. I don't think the two ball goes anywhere. There it is. You're right, it doesn't. It's tied up there with the 10, 5, and 3. Yeah. Double hit. Wow. Made it. Will she give back the shot? That's the question. Yeah, decision time. Can't see a, a decent safety. Yeah, I would give it back. Just that little kiss. <laughs> Making it in the side. it a bit. Gave it back. I think she's going for the five. Or will she go for the three? I, I don't know what she's calling. I wonder if she can just come off thin off the on the right hand side as she looks at the two ball. She's gone the other way. That's quite a decent hit, actually. So has she left a piece? No, I don't, I don't think, think she so. has. That's a pretty decent shot there from Bean. So is she gonna two she might kick? be able to see a Mate. piece of it. She's looking at it right now. You think she can? Young eyes. I mean, she's young, right? How old is she? 22. 22, wow. Yep. Kicking it. If she hit this. If she hits this full enough, she might have I'd a high percentage. Eight. I'd call the height the eight, yeah. just in case. Has a hyper. Oh, wow! Around the back of it. So a chance then. Bean really needs to take this opportunity as well. But there's pressure on every ball for her now, yeah. Robbie. Amber on the hill. I think this shouldn't be a problem for her because most of the balls are pretty much over the pocket. Yeah, well, a bit of work to do here to get to the four. Stun up. Or draw up rather. <laughs> Drawing a straight line. Right hand English. Oh, Scratched she's drawn it. into the pocket. Can you believe that? Now, that is a, a oh, really unforced error, that. She cannot afford to make them. She can't understand what went wrong. Yeah, I didn't like draw. I would rather play would the stun. Stun, yeah. stun draw. Stun draw up. Yeah. yeah. Straight up the straight yes. line. Up the 50 yard exactly. line. This is going to hurt for B if she, uh, if Amber takes this rack, takes the first set. Yeah, it really hurt. Don't want to overrun this. Has she overrun this? No, it's perfect. She's perfect. Perfect. Problems now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All in lovely positions. Lots yep. of room down the centre of the table as well. No. Yep. Take the cue ball wherever she wants. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, in the back of the nine. Yeah, I like the way you played that. She played that. Keeping that nice stroke going. Can either go onto the rail here or draw straight yeah. back. She would go for the rail. 
You want to be below the seven? Yeah, you see, a little bit of right maybe as well. Oh, under hit this a bit. I think she just go forward two rails. Oh, she's thinking about it now. Yeah, that was uh, a pretty bad mistake. Yeah, wasn't very it? careless mistake. You gotta feel sorry for it. Flown all the way from Australia for this. Got to be careful stretching. Yeah, as long as you don't try and put too much into the cue ball, and that's perfect. just about perfect again. Wow. Yeah, losing semi finalists, though, take home $6,000, so it's made the trip worth it from <laughs> Australia, from down under. <laughs> Talking about that now, huh? <laughs> Either player, you know. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah, just stop right. the cue ball. Stop the cue ball, roll this forward a bit. Yeah. I think she'll just stop this. She's a great shooter, so she can shoot from everywhere. Now that better, beautiful now that shot. just shows that she's really comfortable right now. Yeah. In control, yeah, the first much. set then. Two. Takes the first set. Amber! And uh, halfway. We'll second set. I'm going to let you go and sweat the rest of this action yep. from the bleachers because no I can problem. I can hear in your voice you're so I nervous, am, aren't you? I am. Go and get some relaxation and enjoy that from the, the sidelines. Thank Thanks ever so much, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Joining me back in the booth, Tim De Heiter. I'm trying to learn his name. It just sounds like I'm feeling very ill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you sound <laughs> as well like that. <laughs> Tim the Ruder. <laughs> I'm going to call you Tim the Horseman from now on. Right, second set. Been breaking off needs to do something and needs to do it quick. Oh, well, it was almost the sort of thing that was happening in the first set. Had a couple of chances. I don't know whether you saw it or not, Tim, whether he was watching from the sidelines. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye a little bit, but I seem been struggle a little bit. I could read her facial expressions pretty good from a little distance. Yeah, the, uh, the worst shot was when she had a lovely chance and... All the balls in the open and just drew in the side pocket off the three ball. And she might call the one over the two in the side here. It's possible he's hit it in like this and don't think she called it though. Well she's left a shot into this bottom right hand corner Tim. But how is she getting on the two? If she plays that to your replay off the two but not too thin. Yeah, how does she get to the two? Don't think she plays the one. I think she will play, play safe hook. behind yeah. the four. Yeah, good nice shot. shot. Very nice shot, but Next it's tied there. Oh. oh, I think it worked out. The two ball does go past the five. So, unless Chen course can yeah, hit this just over it. two rails. She called it. Yeah, of course. Extension called. Bean having a little background story as well. Having a chance to go to the World Women's Temple Championships in Austria. But yeah, struggling financially to make it there. So this is a pretty big match because this would guarantee her with twelve thousand dollars and she could make it to her first world women's championships i think that's a pretty nice background story 
Yeah, it's big incentive as well, isn't it? Maybe that is in the back of her mind, Tim, as well, you know? Might be, might be. It's a nice story for us, but a little bit of added pressure for her. Well, regardless, win or lose, she's playing a great tournament here. And this is a great safety as well. Very nice cue ball. And I'm not sure if Chen can kick this two rails. I like to kick it two rails. But she called the bottom right corner, probably kicking over one rail. She's coming around the back of the seven, isn't she? Oh, Quite she firm. gave that a really big clout. Yeah, expected to see her kick with this speed because I think there were okay possibilities with just a medium speed. And an opportunity for Bean here. Needs to get that first game on the board, like we've seen in the last semi final. Christina Slateva couldn't get that first game on the board and struggled all the way after six games. She finally got it. And same here. Needs to dig deep and get this done. A nice little bit of piano music going in the background. Okay, <laughs> she rearranged the five ball, but Worked out even better, putting it next to the six. And no, tra no travel to do from five to six, then. No. Three, four, five, six, or. Let me see her going left-handed again. Oh, she hit that Where's little the cue ball. Oh, she wow. the cue ball. I, and now she put herself in that awkward spot. Does it cut? I think it goes, but she's going to mess up with. The eight, five, six, and a possible scratch. Yeah, that's a huge pocket. It's like one of those trick shots where they use the balls to run it into the pocket, isn't it? Look there. <laughs> can bounce off three of them like a machine gun. Yeah, I think she will play safe. Put the four just with the five and the six. With the cue ball. With the eight. Well, that's Ooh. not a good shot. What did she call it? Uh, it oh, doesn't matter if she that. called it or not. I don't think she would have called it even. Yeah, because her reaction when it was going towards the pocket was one of fear. Yeah, it would have been in her favor if it dropped. Yeah, you've got to be careful here. Referee John Lehman bending down on his knees just out of picture. Oh, I played that beautifully. Good speed and... Nice looking ominous for a bean. some great stuff these last few days Bean has but there has also been times when you know when she hasn't I mean, she's missed quite a few balls yeah I think if she looks back at all of her matches and if she would look at the percentage like how offensive did I play compared to how defensive did I play and I think she played a little bit too offensive sometimes she likes to play banks and attack and free flow, but sometimes, especially now, she's struggling. Now, yeah, you can see that her safety game is not strong enough to still stay in there. Although we're talking, of course, as if she's out of it, she's not by an, any stretch of the imagination. If she can win this set, we'll go to a shootout. This is only the first rack. We have to say, Amber is looking really in great shape. Her potting positional play, kicking has been great so far. Just some stun right. Needs to make sure she gets kind of straight on this nine ball though. She manages yeah, it very nicely. Perfect once again. Maybe just draw back, leave the gap between the side pocket, Tim. Yeah, get some extra cueing. 
if you leave it in front of the side pocket. Could come past there even if she wants, just see how she feels. Well, just catching the the point of the pocket yes. there. Yeah, she cheated the pocket a little bit, shooting it in the open side of the pocket, which resulted in pushing the cue ball just that little bit over to the long rail. The cue ball stuck on the rail for another lead in this second set. Ooh. And she gave up on that, didn't go through with the cue. Is that a turning point? Just saw a let up on that. Let's have a look at that again. She, Watch she this. And she Let's come back with the cue. You see that way she little jabbed it and came back. A little bit of nervousness, nervousness there. Yeah, it's just such an awkward shot. Dead yeah. straight and then on the rail. And then playing it also with this speed because of the scratch. Do so you nervy. do you risk kicking this off the side rail? I think you do. You might might have to. Oh, I think she's got to. She's there's got to do no, something. There's no real safety. There's no bank. I think it's go time here. Yeah. Wow. Let's see how she comes back from that. I don't know whether she's sad or happy because her face never changes. Such a poker face. Oh, and she's missed it, but she hasn't left a sitter. Imagine having to pot this. Well, in this case, Chen should at least be happy to get back to the table. Doesn't matter even if she would be hooked behind the point of the side pocket, then still another opportunity. And are the nerves going to grab Chen even more? Or will she be? Yeah. No. And this on again. starting to get a little nervy in this arena. I can't remember the last time we saw this on the 10 ball. This is the fourth shot, and in it goes. So finally, Bean Hung gets a rack on the ball, Tim. And it didn't go easy, but it's there. Final coming up, 3 p.m. today. Only Fisher already there. She played a terrific match earlier, didn't she, against Christina Zleteva. But Christina will leave this tournament feeling, you know, pretty good. Yeah, I spoke to her afterwards, and uh, or while well, she was talking to Kelly, and I was also there. I didn't you really was eavesdropping. Yeah, well, I was just. Uh, <laughs> Being a spy, no, just <laughs> she like she said that she felt she didn't really feel too well. She played a horrible first set, and then the second set was a little better. But then Allison came with a couple of great shots as well, and yeah, she was she was pretty disappointed. You could see it off her face. Tomorrow she might be happy with the third place, but for today she might still be a dis little bit disappointed by her performance today. And look at this break, it's dry, and look where the one is. Okay, not easy to get on the two, but I don't know whether there's a route around. She seemed to hit them nice and square, lots of power, but no reward for it. And look at this 10 ball, going very close as well. Yeah, and I think it already starts with that one to the two. She might be able to soft roll this in and Still leave herself a shot on the two, a cut shot. No. Oh, that's a good decision. And I really like this. That's a great shot. Why take any risk when, you know, you know you're not going to get on the next ball? Brilliant. You really see. Put some Look right spin on there. Bit of spin, yeah. Crawl in there. Yeah, just coax the, the cue ball behind the two ball. Good hit. Oh, look at this 110. Look at this 110 oh, now. Boy. Well, I mean, um, she was jump? fortunate and unfortunate. Would you jump this time. now? No, I might go real first. If you go real first, the, the one in the temple still has a small angle. And if you go real first, you just increase that chance of hitting that. 
good spot. If you jump this, you have to cut it a little bit on the right side, and it makes it just so touchy. M maybe you can lose the cue ball off the table, maybe. She's called the tent, so she is going rail first, like you said. But this is no dead cert, because as you say, it's not dead on. She really has look to spin this right. just needs to hit the one ball a little bit thicker than you would if you was trying to make the pot on the one. That makes sense. Wow. Just like that. What a great shot that is. She levels it up. We're level in the second set, 1-1. One, one. You see a replay. Great, great effort. It was clean in the pocket and here we have referee John Lehman from New York wrecking the balls with the Predator arrow wreck yeah, the arena looking beautiful and these Predator arena lights there's seven of them that hang above the main table one nine foot six seven foots make up this beautiful arena and shed plenty of light and this is a real bright light this young lady playing is the four ball gonna hold up I think it did as we see the replay the break Tim good to see her break from the side just to increase just a little bit more luck and I think it did just hold up in time, but there's no real future. Oh, yes, the two does go, look. Yeah, so there is a possible cut shot on the one, but it's real touchy to finesse roll soft this in and get on the two. Oh, I should try to play what a shot. again back up, but making the ball she did pretty well but the cue ball went a little bit to no man's land still has that shot on the two though i wonder if she'll take it no real future for the three but maybe she can manufacture something here there's a couple safety options she can play she can maybe overcut the two and bring the cue ball all the way back up leaving it behind all the balls like this yeah great it's shot keeping the, the pressure it's a blocker on. though well, there's nice an edge little, there's an edge that's a little bit too much and here pretty good chance for bean bean although she is from chinese taipei she's in fact in the process of becoming an australian citizen She's called the side, it does go. Extension called yeah, as well. And she's looking at kicking this, and I might just look for that thin contact, pushing it just over towards the five and bringing the cue ball back up. Because finding the kick, the angle in, is a little bit too far for the angle out, so she might kick the two into the eight if she wants to stop the cue ball there. So she might kick it a little bit more to the in our view, right side of the short rail with left, but then it gets very sensitive and That's wow. A, well, great shot, just oh. it to perfection. I think the jump key's coming out here. She put just a little bit of right spin, played a little shorter with right, here we see it. She managed to do very well on this safety shot. And she's actually using Robbie Capito's jump cue Not a bad try, making the four oh, and... Oh, look at this. You can't really give that back either, can you? I'm not sure what kind of a view she has on the two. Pretty Decent good try, jump, though. wasn't it? No, she has and put I might, back. Yeah, I was going to say I might give it back too because there's not so many things you can do. 
She might be able to just bank the two ball to the three and the eight. Try to hold the cue ball off the five behind, uh, off the ten behind the five. She's got something in her mind. Oh, oh that's gone wrong. I think she tried what you yeah, said. It was a, it was so tough, and yeah. I w I'm not even sure if it was there. To be honest, yeah, she hit it thin, it though. Hit it, did hit it a little bit thin, didn't she? Maybe it was just a little bit of a miss hit. Okay, I do like this shape. And if she's straight, she can just float this in. If she can get straight on that five ball, that would be very nice to continue her run. Yeah, straight. Okay, Heart maybe a pocket. little angle on the five, which is still okay. To just let that cue ball go to rails. Nice brush in the eight ball there. I might like to stun the cue ball two rails for the six in the side. Yeah, this has been another feature of her game this week. Overstretching. I've seen her do it a few times. And there you saw it again. Decelerate and run out of arm there. Didn't have enough follow through to finish yeah, the shot. Yeah. You could see that the backspin was gone yeah. just before <laughs> yeah. she hit that five ball. Yeah. Well, she's still got something, but this is not easy. She's either going to get a long cut on the eight, or she has to force this up table and down table. Don't mind the nine ball though. Wow. Just getting past this is it. A, this is a strong shot. And here, good angle to go three wheels to the nine. And then somehow she managed to oh. get this far. I honestly thought I was just going to clip that nine, and if it had done, it would have changed the dynamic of this next shot. But anyway, played it to perfection. Yeah. Three now, rails. Anywhere but straight. Anywhere but straight on this nine ball. And I think she's got she a might. mini angle, but we're going to see a big stroke here. Yeah, and this is the shot, the kind of shot, it's not exactly the same. She's scratched on on the three, drawing it, but I don't think she'll do it here. It's a completely different angle. Big stroke to the long rail and out. Oh, but she put some. Oh, she put a little left spin on there. Almost identical to the three ball she done I was telling you about. Wow, that went a lot closer. Deja vu nearly. Yeah, quite surprised she played that with left because it would hold back on that rail, but she got there and, and it goes. A lot of heart here from Bean Hung. And we'll be back with the rest of the set after a short break.
welcome back to the Red Deer. Cambridge Hotel here. And we're just waiting for Amber to come back, just taking a short break. Just give us a, a little bit of time to reflect on... Well, we've had three days already, Tim. This is the fourth, and uh, it's been a great event. Very well sponsored, of course, which gives us, you know, this 50,000 added, 18,000 to the winner, 18, uh, 12 to the runner-up, six to each losing semi-finalist. And it's because of all our wonderful sponsors, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and it uh, would be nice to give our sponsors a little shout-out here. So we would like to thank Q Sports International and Predator Qs, Q Sports Life and the w WPBA, of course. And then, besides that, we got our Pro Buried Series global partners, Jam Up Apparel, Kamui, and Alpha Coin. And then, besides that, we would like to thank our local partners here in Canada for helping us out. Because we've had a pretty good couple days here. And there's still more to come. Yeah, hopefully. Amber will come very, very soon. Players are allowed to take a break, of course. I think it's one each, isn't it? Normally we see both players going out after the, the first set. And you were saying earlier on, Tim, that it's something that you've seen from the commentary booth that you're thinking of incorporating into your own game when you play this particular format. Yeah, because like a lot of players have been saying, yeah, I played really good the first set and then if you stay in the chair and then you have the break and you yeah then you start to play again then the focus it drops just that little bit and yeah of course on this high level you're not yeah you're not allowed to drop that concentration level so it might be a good thing to just have that reset after the first set to be kind of fresh for the second one the reset after the first set for the second set yeah <laughs> it's a lot of sets but yeah. still true but we're only playing two <laughs> and Bean has to win this one and it's a dry break Remember getting ready just on the side again it's that one to two first shot Tim that's going to be the key here yeah, the I, like balls out in the open. I like what she was looking for. She's thinking about going to the short rail with a lot of right spin to make the angle really short and then go off the side rail back in between the four and the five. But it might open up on that long rail. Oh, and she did not get close well, to the corner. She's on the other side of it. don't think she meant to. I sounded, don't think so. It a bit strange, that she, contact. She, she pointed at a different part, but and still she's got a shot on the two. She doesn't have to be all the way up to where the three is. She can just play two rails, bounce out, and have a cut shot on the three. She might also opt to run softly into the nine, but I think that's quite risky. Well, she's caught it. She's well, she's still on it. She's okay. Can still cut this in, Tim. Uh, I'm not too sure. This is a pretty steep angle and especially controlling the cue ball on this is tough and she's got an easy safety behind the nine here if she wants to play that if she doesn't fancy the cut this will be all about and there you see close up on this uh this white thing we were talking about with robbie that she always seems to wear oh she's under hit this is she yeah, and she played the short version of this i was thinking about maybe banking the three ball all the way behind the four and the six just to build that little backup in there but I think yeah I don't think she can make the three so she's going real first on this can still call it and get lucky behind the six and the four you know she kicked it towards the short oh, rail and everything moved there and look at this for the three eight she won't be turning this down I don't think no and I would almost say this eight ball is unmissable. Here's Caroline Powell, we just saw in the background, losing quarter finalist last night. It's 
Good to see the ladies back in the arena. Watching the action. There they are, look. I don't know whether they're watching the action or texting. <laughs> Now, a little interesting to see how she's going to that five ball because the five ball got a little strange. Would like to be straight on the four. And to just where she is now, look, is fine for the five now. I'm not too sure. She might just run into the ten here. And I in think case, so. and I well, or have a more cut, but. Not sure if I like the cut from around the spot. If you play this inside and bump the 10, and if you go in between the two balls, you can still cut the five. It is not I'm sure. not sure if She's this goes. Look. This looks like it doesn't go. Well, we've got no chance of knowing from Amber's face because <laughs> she's <laughs> just so stone-faced, isn't she? Amazing temperament she's got. If I had her temperament, I'd be world champion. <laughs> and, then we, and then we woke up. <laughs> <are you> laughing <laughs> at? So she's playing the safety here behind the 10. I think banking the five ball. Two rails up to the other side of the table. Oh, she lost the cue ball there oh a little no, bit. Where's the five ball? Oh. Well, people she's clapping in the stands, but I wouldn't be too happy with this because the rail first is on. Yeah, but she did get behind the 10. I think that's what they're applauding. Decent shot. But as you say, yeah. For a player of Bean's class, I'm sure she'd have no problem with this. Yeah, I would be pretty disappointed if I left it like this. It's just one good shot, and then the whole game is wide open. I think all her concentration was on the cue ball and didn't really care where the five went, to be honest, and that showed where it's ended up. Yeah, and I think if that cue ball was really close to the 10, then still would have been okay, but now both are kind of... Yeah. She's putting a little English on this, I think, a little bit of left hand. Yeah, a little left hand. Nice, nice shot here. Oh, she's caught the nine. Still got a shot on the six, though. And Would have loved to have gone past though, Tim. Caught that side rail and ended up on the six in the side. But a little test up. The good news on this is that the angle is running towards the ten. So if she, if she's checking up here, I think I would just play this pocket speed and float it in. Don't do too much here, Bean. Well, this is this is an or example of what you were talking about. Well, it's it turned worked. out okay. But I'm quite surprised he played it that way. But. It's a beautiful shot. Wow, right in the heart of the pocket. Great shot, and got a nice little, you've got to say a well-deserved bump because she hasn't had the best to run. Yeah, and here, needs to leave herself a nice angle on the nine. Don't get too straight. And nice angle, just a little far, so. She's not scared to open up on a shot, <laughs> as we just saw. That's true, but she needs another big swing here. Winding herself up for it. Here we go. One of the biggest shots of the match so far to get on the hill. Oh, oh it's a beauty. Sweet. Starting to find her river now, Tim. Yeah, and we might have a possible shootout coming here. Because Chen is doing okay this set, but not like the first set. And Bean. It's the other way around. Yeah, in it goes. So she is on the hill. And that's the great, exciting thing about this format. You go and win the first set 4 0. And then just lose it. I see, we were talking about going out of the arena. I'm not a big fan about going out of the arena. In my back in my sneaker days, I remember I was playing in, actually it was in a club called the Holland Club, believe it or not. It was oh boy. in Clacton-on-Sea. And I played really well and I'd beaten the best player in the tournament and I was the favourite to go on and win it. And there was about a two hour break between and I decided to drive home. I only lived about 20 minutes away. I decided to drive home, have something to eat and then come back for the final. Came back for the final and I just 
completely different player. I'd lost that feeling for the place, you know. Anyway, enough about my antics in the Holland Club. <laughs> and no successful break here for Bean Hung all the way from Australia. Looking for a really nice finish in this tournament. And a tough start for Chen on this one ball. Yeah. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh. Root she's found. What, what a brilliant, brilliant shot. shot. Shot of the match so far. Brilliant. Oh, let's have another look at this. Look at that. Barely goes by that eight ball. Perfectly executed. What a fantastic shot. And the good thing is, the two, three, four, and the five are at the same side. So, Get off that rouse and doesn't have to go up and down. Ball just a little bit. And this is one of those, we saw a play a shot like this on the ten ball earlier. You now need to get that Q-tip through the cue ball. Don't snatch it back like she did before. She could have done with just a little soft roll like this one. And oh. Do you know she done exactly oh. the same again? Got to the cue ball and stopped. Didn't go through the cue ball. Watch again. There, just stopped the cue again. And that's something she needs to look at. It's something Robbie Capito needs to look at. He's her coach. And that nearly cost her there. The cost of the set. But now back to work. Nice angle here. This is key shot. She can get close to the center of the kitchen line. Yeah, hit the kitchen line would be perfect, wouldn't it? Hit the rail there. Just since she can thread balls through needles, through the eye of a needle. And that's perfect. Look at that. Same thing. Just roll this six ball in with left to turn it back for the seven in the same corner. She has the tendency to stun balls a lot. Maybe that's a comfortable spot, but. I like that better. I like Keeping this the a lot more. Away from that side rail. Just a nice little follow through here. Make sure you go far enough, but not so far you're going away from the nine. That looks Ooh. just about perfect. Quite surprised, T. She could have went more forward, just to be sure. I think she's pretty straight on this. Can draw straight back, can she? Or she can she run it round? Doesn't really look like she's drawing this. No. She stunned this still a little bit. Yeah, Ooh. stunned oh, What a great shot. Forced it out. Forced an angle that wasn't there. Very confidently played. She's certainly got all the shots, Tim. There we see it, nicely played. A little bit of movement, she started to get up there. So this to pull it back to 3-2, she will be breaking. Yeah, played that very nicely. Quite close to that nine ball, Tim. In it goes, pulls it back, 3-2 now, breaking. So, Annie Fisher, gone for a bit of lunch. She'll be feeling pretty good about her game, Tim. 
since beating Kelly yesterday. She's gone from strength to strength. I mean, she played a set last night. Just, it was impeccable, wasn't it? It was just unbelievable. 17 minutes, and that is in fact our fastest ever set on a pro billiard series. <coughs> Chen to break from the side. Last time she was pretty successful from the side, and there we go. There's the one ball. And You'll be proud of that, Tim. Two ball, maybe bump the four. Oh, and it opened up perfectly oh, for her. look at that. I think that's her best break of the match so far. And look at that, as you say, the eight ball coming in and just nudging that four. And yeah, she can just draw this just past the side pocket. It's one of them ones that you've really got to feel, though. You can't hit it too hard, Tim. You've got to grab hold of the cue ball, haven't you? Yeah, a little elevation. And does not want to get on the rail on the three. So it needs a good speed as well. Yeah, just like that. Perfectly played. <coughs> a little bit straight, okay. But I think she's got a slight angle. Maybe run it around a couple of rails. Maybe she can go two rails and travel in between the eight and the nine. Which is traveling through her positional area. But... Sometimes you have to. She might be able to draw the cue ball and not hit the five, but really sensitive. If you cheat the pocket just a little bit too much on the left, you run into the five and you're in no man's land. There you see next to their names, the Chinese Taipei flag. And very, very soon, Hung's will be changing to a yellow and blue one, the one of Australia. And doesn't have much time left. Yeah. Seven seconds on the clock. It's going to come in. Oh, she's queued this nice. Looks good. Has it gone too far? No, it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> Could not have gone better. Yeah, perfect really angle to go in between the nine and the ten. Look at this for speed. Just pushed it through, Tim. Beautifully played, wasn't it? Really felt that shot. It stops just in time. She can either go in between the 10 and the 7 or draw in between the 10 and the 9. Depends where you want to be. Yeah, mind that side pocket. Caught the 10, which is pretty okay. If anything, it's made the 7 much easier to get shape on. So we're looking good for Hill Hill. Yeah, Bean has been in her chair for a little bit. She's definitely a momentum player, a rhythm player. Just made that five ball a little bit thick. Rail straight on the six. Can still go forward two rails, but would have liked to be on the short rail. She's drawing this. It's okay if she can hit. Yeah, I like that shot. In between the eight as and the nine. As soon as she comes yeah. off that second rail, she's going towards the seven. Well played. And from here, all the work is done. Get straight on the eight, get straight on the nine, get straight on the ten. That's the goal. Played that lovely little stun run through. Yeah, people think you only play them on straight shots. You can play them on those cuts as well. Both players have been way better this second set. So, Ruth 
Martine Temple to bring it to Hill Hill. Or she will be breaking for the set and the match. And a shot at about $18,000. In it goes, thought she called it a little bit thin, but it was okay. It was smoothly struck. Well, hard to call this. It's all about the break here, Tim. How much would she love a break and run? What are you smiling about? <laughs> Robbie Capito's face, it was quite priceless there. Where is he? I can't see him. <laughs> oh, yeah, sitting right in front of us. Looked at me and went. <laughs> He's having a hard time. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Chen as well, because it's only one game. It's either going to be a shootout or a spot in the final with Ellison Fisher for Chen. There he is, a great player in his own right from Hong Kong. Very good player. A good looking young man as well, isn't he? He's got everything. Good player, good looks. Back to. She made that one again. Nearly just went past it. Two ball looked like it might go four rails. Four threatened, but nothing down, unfortunately. No shot on the one, though, apart from a safety. Yeah. One ball going a little bit higher. Two was looking good, Tim, until the nine come and kicked it away. needs to get a decent safety in here. All the balls in the open. Which is quite tough to do, as she can only hit the left side of the one. Maybe can send, she can send the one to the long rail and get the cue ball behind the eight with a lot of right spin. Oh. It needs, needs to go it past to run. the side. And it hasn't, it's cuttable this. She's looking at it. I'm not too sure. This is a very thin cut on the one. Needed more spin on that cue ball too. Yeah, just died. Crawl didn't behind it. the eight. Yeah. Oh, I've got to feel, you've got to feel for, haven't you? It's can't we just call it a draw and share the money? <laughs> <laughs> call the extension here. She knows this is a key shot. If she makes a big mistake here, then the game is wide open. She might be able to bank the one ball over towards the two and run into the seven to leave the cue ball behind the six and the nine. I do like that. She needs to hurry up. Don't forget about the shot clock. Speaking to Lian Leo. But doesn't oh, want to make the no, seven. Don't make it. Oh, she oh. has. Little bit of a smile there. And I, yeah, being didn't take too long. She had to check if there was maybe a gap for the two, of course. Yeah, don't get too comfortable. Man, one but one. you've got to get straight back up again. <laughs> well, she's decided to kick this. Laid her jump cue down on the floor. Don't fall over it. I saw that before. Forget Only who it 10 was. seconds left, and she's got no extension. Wow. She could see it. But right, she's left it. The chance for being hung. I wonder if Bean knew that she could just clip a little bit of it. She didn't really look no, at I it too long, did yeah, she? Yeah, but Chen also ran into the two, which would make it pretty unpredictable what would happen. So I do understand why Bean gave it back, and in the end, it's proved right. Yeah, she's got the chance here, but there is also a chance that she's going to run into the ten. Yeah, and I expect her maybe to use the ten, stun with right, and try to make something happen. And I don't think this two ball goes to that top left corner. No, does I don't it go? Think it does either. Well. Maybe it does. She's looking at it. Perhaps it does, Tim. And if it does, this is key shot. Big keep shot coming. Keep the head still. No, just playing the safety. Well. And 
Is it good enough? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, oh it, it is. is. Yes, it is. You can see from that angle. And Bean is really putting some pressure on Chen. Chen came back all the way from 3-1, but Bean is also coming up with a couple of good shots to yeah, be able to seal fighting. the deal. She's still fighting. I do like this, kicking two rails, hitting the right side of the two, sending it towards the side pocket or backup table. This was the wrong side. This was always going to leave something on the two. So just a few cracks beginning to appear. In Amber's game, maybe feeling the pressure. And a small pocket on the three ball, though. This is not over yet. Yeah, you can look at it. Bean thinking, I'm just a rack away from my chance in a shootout. Amber's thinking, I'm a rack away from being in the final and dreading the shootout. Nicely played this two ball as she couldn't play this with running spin. She really had to draw the cue ball and then with inside come back. Could have maybe used a little bit more inside, but she managed to get on the three. And this, this is key shot here. Called the extension. 45 seconds she has now just to make sure. Let's see. She's playing the Karen or what's she playing? She might have to because that three ball only has yeah. a really small, tight pocket. Tight. Does she get all that three? Well, I don't think she it. got there. Lost the three ball, unfortunately. She might have a difficult cut. Here we see it again. This is a really steep cut. I don't know oh. if this is possible. Well, it's always possible, but. Do you go for this on Hill Hill? <laughs> it's a tough one. And that's only 10 seconds. A little time problem. Maybe just soft roll. And I do like this. She keeps Chen really tight. Yeah, get a jump cue though here. She's brought it with her just in case. I like jumping this. Make it. Me too. If you make it, you've won the match. You gotta go here. There's not you so many spots go, on the and table. She to hasn't be. got much longer. She has got no extension left. She needs to get settled, get in line and ready for this. This Eight there's seconds. Chanel Lorraine in the background, I notice as well. Another player. She's running out of time. She's running out of time. In the oh. end, rushed it. And that's quite a scenario there. Took too long over it. Once you've made up your mind, get down and play it. Yeah, and she also hit the other side of the three there. Since a little trace of spin on that cue ball, a little right spin, which pushed the cue ball over more. And this is the opportunity for Bean. She's got a little straight on this five ball. So she might, yeah, that's why she's now, she's not so happy. Wanted to go a little further. And there's a little emotion. You could see her face. She was. A little sad, of course. Now, a little draw shot. Yeah, I like this. But it turned well, out not to be so good. I thought she was going to perfect. get a little bit on the right side of the six. And one more good shot needed. Still not over yet. One more good shot. Playing with low right always looks amazing when it goes right and always <laughs> looks horrible when it goes wrong. Oh. But very nicely played. It's That's an gone right. Under the circumstances with all the pressure going on. Does she have to go short side? I didn't quite see how she got on this eight ball. Was it straight or she got an angle to stun over? Uh, she's got just a little bit of angle. Stun over for the nine to the same pocket. Nicely played. Well, get ready, guys. Yeah, she got pre sailed at nine ball. He'll smell there. <laughs> She's like, oh, my God. I could have been everywhere except straight. Just take your medicine. Or is she going to draw it back off the rail and back over? Big well. stroke, but she likes those. 
And this ten ball to keep the dream alive, bring Bean Hung to the World Women Championships. Or is it Chen? And in it goes. We are going to a shootout. And we're going to go for a break. And we'll be back with that. Here we see the shootout rules. Both players get four innings. They alternate the sides. And the player with the highest score wins. And if they tie, they go in sudden death, moving back one more diamond. We've seen quite some exciting shootouts yet, but this one is a $6,000 shootout. Yeah, so Amber won the lag and they've asked her if she wants to go first or second and she can also choose the side that she starts from and you notice John Lehman will rack or place that ball with the white side up and it's spotted just behind the head spot which is where it's spotted in the rack of course so here we go then Goes oh, in. Oh, and you can hear that. Yeah, you might have heard some <laughs> rather loud clapping. Robbie Capito has joined us in the <laughs> commentary booth. He's hiding, I think. Yeah, he, he can't bear he to He doesn't want to watch it, but then he does want to watch it. He's watching through fingers. And it was a nice, smooth stroke from Chen putting Bean under pressure. That's the advantage of starting. If you make him put the other player under pressure, if you miss him, then you might be in trouble. It's rather like the chicken and the egg situation, which came first, which is the best win one to go first. She's playing it differently. And she's missed the first one. <sighs> oh, Bean. gesticulating there with her arm that she didn't really get the cue through the ball. Maybe a little bit of nerves and <laughs> who wouldn't be nervous in this situation? A place in the final. Well, it also looked to me, based on her tip position, it looked like she was going to stun the ball. And then at the end, 
Maybe she raises up a little bit, but then it doesn't really look natural. So it was harder to... Like a little bit of a ping on the cue ball rather than going straight through it. Chance here then for Ember. And straight in the pocket once again. Very solid. Pressure on two out of two. Now, you'd think Bean has to make this one. Yeah, she... If she doesn't make this one and Amber makes her next one, it's all over. She wants to keep in control by herself and not relying on what Chen is doing. Yeah, just don't miss. And then it doesn't matter what your opponent does. So huge pressure now, and this puffs out the cheeks. Oh, I don't like that. She's moved the cue ball and stayed in the same position. And I'm oh, telling you, she, she placed, she placed the cue ball down. She, she stood, she placed the cue ball, got down to play the shot, Moved the cue ball, never moved their feet or anything. Yeah. And she's People played across that. Here. You can see there was a little trace of inside, which just pushes the ball more out. Well, it's simple mathematics from here on. If Amber makes this, she is into the final with Alison Fisher. And that's coming up at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Can she make it? Biggest shot of her life. And in it goes, right in the heart of the pocket. She goes through to the final. Bad luck to Bean Hung. We'll be back 3 p.m. with the final. Alison Fisher versus Amber. Thanks very much, Tim De Reuter. I'm Mark White. We'll see you soon. Big hug there, look, from Robbie Capito. See you soon. without putting